Folks, I'm going to draw the conference to a close uh, now, uh, because if I don't, you'll all leave uh, having heard Kate. But before Kate leaves, I would just like us to express our gratitude to her for all the work she's done on the Vaccine Task Force. So, Kate, oh, no. thank <laughs> you so much. Thank you so much. It's not me. Thank you Okay, so some, some, um, uh, some tidying up. Um, it is a three-line whip that you return your badges to the BMA uh, because they want the electronic tags back. Is that okay? So please, please do that. Um, I'd like to express a, a little bit of thanks, actually. Um, and I'll go through the whole list, then we can express our thanks in, in the normal way. Uh, we've had a fantastic team. Uh, who've set this up and as far as I'm concerned it's been the art of delegation so I can take no no uh, credit for it whatsoever um, so particularly to, to Simon uh, and to Rod who've, uh, who've really worked really hard on this I'd like to thank our sponsors you know without without our sponsors this would not be possible and we've had some fantastic talks um, from people uh, from from the US in particular uh, it's been remarkable um, and uh, I'd like to thank if you like our uh, speakers as well it's been a fantastic contribution but then again I'd like to thank you because you've all been so constructive in your questions so interested uh, there's been a sense of conviviality here and uh, I don't know about you but I've completely enjoyed just watching you all get on so it's been fantastic so those are all the thanks. Let's uh, give, show our appreciation. Okay, so the way ahead. Where do we go from here? You know, at the very beginning, I talked about um, a, a sense of community, a sense of collaboration, uh, a sense of innovation. And those themes have come out. Uh, uh, and I'm going to pick one or two where it's been particularly emphasized. So in terms of community, uh, Pam Shaw, you know, the, the impact of a combined science patient um, movement, effectively, uh, in order to get things done. Absolutely fantastic. What an example to us. I think also in terms of the scientific community. Uh, we, we, we sit here, we, we've learned from each other. I know I've, I'm going to go away and I'm going to steal a whole load of ideas and pretend they were mine. Is that okay? So I'll, I'll confess it now and then you can call me to book when I don't show certain appreciations. Um, and for example, the aggregation of data. The aggregation of data across scale, across time. Why would we not want to do that? Okay, so let's do it. So let's absolutely do it. And what about collaboration? You know, on the, the, the Mentimeter thing, the clever wordy thing that came up, the central thing was trust. You know, and uh, in Deep UK, we hold that very precious. We operate here a high trust, pre-competitive environment. And my job is really simple. It's just to make sure I maintain that high trust, pre-competitive environment. I don't need to know anything about dementia. I'll keep this environment going, and then everything else will take care of itself. And the, the idea, for example, of this adaptive trial platform that uh, MRC and NAIHR are proposing, we invite you to come and work with us to make this happen. Um, we invite you to create, a, if you like, a UK community to want to do the things that Kate was talking about, because together we can. Together we can. And a revolutionary idea in doing that is the decentralized trial model. And so, Give it some thought, and if you'd like to come and work with us. Oh, and by the way, if you happen to represent pharma here and you have a little molecule in your back pocket you'd like tested in this trial, no, we're open to offers, okay? So do come and bring it to us. Um, and how about innovation? Uh, well, I hear, I'm going to make some really boring points about innovation. Is that okay? A single contract. That would be transformative. You know, is it hard? Is it really hard? I don't know. How about um, uh, a core variable data set? Is that really so difficult? Um, how about um, standardized data models across scales so that they can talk to each other? How about federated data analysis, not just within the UK, but between the UK and the US and with Europe and Australia and Southeast Asia? 
Why, why can we not do this? Because I know that technologically we can. In, in our data platform, we discuss the, the diff, different ways of doing it. Not can it be done, but we can do it this way or we can do it that way. Which way do you want to choose? So it can be done. It really can. And what I would really like, what would give me so much pleasure, if we could come back here in a year's time and see we've actually changed these things. We have a single contract. We have data aggregation. We have standard models. We have new ways of doing trials. We have molecules being offered up. We have populations joining for the registry so that they can get allocated or recruited to a trial. That really is not beyond ourselves in this room. So that's my challenge to you. Okay, it really is. Now, as you go away, we do not want to take this home, but all right. So this is the broader, the broader program of DPUK, and if you'd like to join us in this, you're very welcome. Acrivia are in the process of joining. We would look forward to other potential partners as well. If you want to get into big data, this is our data portal report. And I think few people give credit to the, the real heroes of data management we have, particularly in Swansea, uh, but also in Oxford. So if you want to understand how we do it and how you can help us do it better, then read this and take it away. But meanwhile, thank you all very much, and uh, we'll see you next year.